Today, state legislators unanimously passed a bill to address several issues created by the coronavirus pandemic. Among them, Ohioans must now vote absentee to participate in the elections that were scheduled for March 17th. Two News reporter Kristen Eskow is live in the newsroom after talking with local legislators. Brooke, House Bill 197 extends absentee voting, cancels state testing for students, and pushes back the state tax deadline, among other changes. Today we spoke with a local state senator and House representative who say more legislative action could be coming in the next few weeks. There are lots of different things in this bill. There are all things that had to be done. They had to be done fairly quickly. House Bill 197 includes about two dozen provisions addressing various issues caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The bill extends absentee voting for the elections set for March 17th to April 28th. There will be no in-person voting. The new voting deadline of April 28th is several weeks earlier than the governor's original request of June 2nd, but state legislators say school districts needed to know earlier whether proposed levies would pass. If you can fill out your ballot and mail it back, your vote will count just as much as if you'd walked into the voting booth on March 17th. State Senator Peggy Lehner and Representative Naraj Antani believe the April 28th deadline gives Ohioans enough time to vote by mail. We had 28 days of, of early in-person and absentee voting. Uh, this will give people over 30 more days. Uh, to do that, that is plenty of time. The bill also waives state testing for K through 12 students, postpones Ohio's tax deadline to July 15th, and delays deadlines for renewing licenses and vehicle registration. Obviously, we want students to continue learning, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, taking one year of, of not having testing in this extraordinary time. Uh, is something that we felt had to be done in order to give relief. Lawmakers say more coronavirus related legislation is likely. The next round of, of things that we'll be pushing for is to provide both uh, employees uh, with relief, uh, small businesses with relief. Governor Mike DeWine said in a statement released today that he plans to sign the bill soon. Now, to request an absentee ballot, you can do so online. We have a link on our website, WDTN.com. Click on As Seen on 2 News. Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.